The first integrated oil and gas infrastructure in West Africa will be built on a 20,000-acre plot of land in the Jamora municipality, Western region. At its peak, it can house three refineries with a minimum capacity of 300,000 barrels per stream day each, five petrochemical plants, jetties and port infrastructure, 10 million cubic meters of storage tanks, gas infrastructure, and ancillary infrastructure. Ghana's president, His Excellency Nana Adobdankwa Akufoado, and Energy Minister, His Excellency Dr. Matthew Apuko Prempe, have both expressed their belief in the establishment of a petroleum hub and its ability to propel the country's petrochemical sector. The petroleum hub is going to be a major development in terms of the economic impact that it's going to have in the areas of job creation and the development of our petroleum industry, the president noted, adding, the goals of the hub are massive, including but not limited to our GDP, increasing the volume of taxes from our hub, revenue for the state, and all these will major for the economy. Welcome to Thinkrich Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business, and personal development content to inform, motivate, and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship, rather than global pity, is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. Mr. Peter John Amu, then Ministry for Energy, received approval from Cabinet at its 48th meeting on 14 February 2019 to commence the implementation of the Master Plan for the development of a petroleum hub in the Western region. The Petroleum Hub Development Corporation Bill was passed by Parliament in 2020 in a strategic effort to stimulate socioeconomic growth by advancing Ghana's position as a hub for the petrochemical industry in the West African region and globally. The bill also includes a memorandum stating that the hub would supply petroleum and petrochemical products to meet domestic and regional demand with President Akufo Addo stating that the project's goals are consistent with the African Continental Free Trade Area Project, a strategic framework aimed at accelerating intra-African trade. The hub will utilize 20,000 acres of land made available by Paramount Chief of the Western Enzema Traditional Area and Board Chairman of the PHDC, Awali Anur Ajayvron III, and will feature three refineries, each with a minimum production capacity of 300,000 barrels per day, five petrochemical plants. Industrial infrastructure and 10 million cubic meters of storage capability and is expected to cost $60 billion. Out of this amount, the government of Ghana is expected to contribute $6 billion, representing 10% of the total investment cost. The entire multi-billion project, though facilitated by government, is designed to be purely private sector funding, attracting investors across the petroleum value chain. The government intends to leverage on private capital to finance the remaining 90% funding requirements. The contribution of the government Ghana would be targeted at providing the initial basic infrastructure, including land acquisition, payment of compensation, construction of road and railway networks, and extension of the area, social amenities, such as water and electricity. Aside from establishing the institution to drive the project, the government's role is to provide land, off-site infrastructure, tax breaks, and other benefits to the project. Over the next decade, the project will be implemented in three stages. The Chief Executive of the National Petroleum Authority, NPA, Dr. Mustafa Abdul Hamid says Ghana is best placed to attract investments into its petroleum hub because of political stability, geographical location, robust downstream sector, and its high-quality crude oil. Speaking during the official ribbon-cutting ceremony at the Ghana Delegation Pavilion at this year's Offshore Technology Conference, OTC, 
In Houston, Texas, Dr. Abdul Hamid said the NPAs will vigorously support the establishment of the petroleum hub by undertaking strong engagements with investor communities to be able to attract investments into the country. It will also monitor the quality of petroleum products to ensure they meet specified standards, he stressed. The proposed petroleum hub, which is estimated to be $60 billion, has four key infrastructure – refineries, petrochemical plants, storage facilities, and jetties. The OTC is an annual event that brings together energy professionals from around the world to exchange ideas and opinions in order to advance scientific and technical knowledge of offshore resources and environmental issues. With a location selected and feasibility studies underway, industry analysts believe that the hub should not only create jobs, but also establish a sustainable means of refining local crude, foster public-private synergies, and unify all three spheres of the petroleum industry, upstream, midstream, and downstream. The government has outlined a bold vision to make Ghana a hub for refined petroleum products of West Africa. The project is expected to contribute enormously to economic growth through value addition to petroleum resources and job creation, and also to accelerate the growth of Ghana's downstream petroleum sector and make the country a major player in Africa's oil and gas industry. Government is targeting $1.56 billion in export tax revenue through the project, which is projected to create about 780,000 jobs and increase GDP by more than half by 2030. We expect to serve the VLCCS and ULCCS and also explore the market opportunities in the sub-region, Dr. Yebo said after a stakeholder engagement with residents of Bonnier. An estimated $12 billion is needed to fund the first phase of the three-phase project. The first phase comprises land valuation and compensation, followed by development of petrochemical plants, a refinery, and tank farms. Tax receipts from the downstream value chain operations will also boost the government's revenue to undertake development interventions. Thank you for watching. If there are any tips you think should be on this list but is not, leave a comment let us know. Help our channel grow. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Support us by liking the video, subscribing and turning on your notification.